Now, the smashed Avo controversy is no longer being blamed for millennials' inability to secure a home loan. Some now blame regulators, uh, some blame the banks, and others blame the Royal Commission. One thing is certain, though, a record number of Australian borrowers are being knocked back. The million-dollar question is why? The Banking Royal Commission. Evidence of consumer failed by those. Drag back to the Banking Royal Commission. All the way to the Ombudsman. This is not a new normal. This is normal forever. We will not go back to the old banking ways. Welcome to the Home Loan Hunger Games. The battle is on and Aussies have to beg, borrow and appeal to get lending. Old ways of getting credit. You just rang up your mate at the bank and said, listen, my house is worth two million. I just want to borrow a million. And look, this main income looks OK. Forget it. It's not going to happen anymore. It's done. The responsible lending light bulb has gone off and the easy money has dried up. And Yellow Brick Road's Mark Bura says Aussies need to adjust. The new credit rules are here to stay. The regulators are charged with protecting the financial stability of the Australian banking market. We never heard of the regulators before, but now we do. And they're going to make their mark on this industry. A hot topic among borrowers and bankers, experts and analysts is the Royal Commission to blame. I want to refute the proposition that it's the Royal Commission that's creating this more difficult hurdle to get a loan approved, because it's not. Since 2015, the regulator, APRA, and also ASIC, have started to apply new rules. Yes, the Royal Commission has made bankers really wary, but those new calculation processes have been going on for quite a while now. Lenders have become tougher and tighter when it comes to judging your ability to repay debt over the life of the loan. The banks are now scrutinising all your expenses, not just assessing your income. Existing home loan borrowers are struggling as well because since April there's been a massive surge in refinancing rejections. 40% of Australians who are currently wanting to refinance are being rejected. That's compared to just 5% this time last year. So borrowers are being locked in, unable to get a better deal elsewhere. Money educator Nicole Peterson mckinnon has some key ways to beat the banks in the lending game. So a potential lender is going to do a couple of tests to find out if you can handle a loan. They're going to stress test the amount for a 7% interest rate. So you can do that yourself to see how close you're going to get. Then they're going to check your net disposable income. Everything you've spent money on in the last three months, and I mean everything. So don't spend much at all. With the big four in the spotlight at the moment, try your luck with a non-major lender. All the official heat is on the big guys, there's no doubt about it. So you may find it easier to get approval with a smaller outfit, but you're still going to have to jump through all the same hoops and the process is going to be a lot more rigorous than it would have been, say, a year ago. Let's not underestimate the effect this has had on housing. Nerity Connorsby from realestate.com.au says the new practices are pulling down property prices. The tighter lending practices mean that people are finding it far more difficult to get finance. So as a result, we're seeing fewer people at auction. Uh, we're seeing fewer people looking to buy. And as a result, the market's slowing. If people don't have the cash, they can't go shopping. And property experts can watch it in real time online. The Royal Commission has had an impact on real estate prices. We can see it on realestate.com.au that as soon as there's any change to financing, whether that's increasing interest rates or difficulty in getting finance, we do see a drawback in activity. And we've seen that most prominently here in Sydney, but also in Melbourne. Yep. We're in an old-fashioned credit squeeze at the moment. Mm. It is so hard to get any loans. It's incredible. And... I think the Royal Commi- the Banking Royal Commission oh. has really scared the banks. Into- Absolutely it has, because they've been criticised for hosing money at people mm. in the past that couldn't afford it. Now the pendulum has swung way the other way. Mm. So, Which yeah, could hurt- be a worry. It's hurting out there. Mm. Okay.